Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and welcome to another edition of Beach and Beyond. Today we're here at Delmarva Boyle, discovering what a low country boil is. And we're also going to be heading down to the Ocean City Center for the Arts to talk to Rena about the arts and what they've got programmed. Next stop is going to be at Secrets to talk to Jackie about the distillery. We're talking to our tourism friends with Ocean City to find out all the great free events coming up. And then lastly, our favorite naturalist, Jim Rapp, always has something fun for us to learn. So please don't go anywhere. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit IndieGamblingHelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director, and today we're here at Delmarva Boyle with co-owner Will Jenkins. Thanks, Will, for yeah. joining us. And some of you may not know what Del Marva Boyle is, and we're going to talk about what it is you do here. Cool, yeah. I'm ready for it. So tell us what exactly you do, what Del Marva Boyle is. We're standing here in front of all these great yeah. cans. So we basically specialize in low country seafood boils, and we have two sides to our business. One is the We Steam, and the other one is You Steam. And the We Steam, it's kind of, it, it's catering. So we come to your house with one of the bigger pot, with a huge pot, burner, propane tank, and we cook, serve, clean up. So we do a whole big, fun, low country boil at your house. And you really need, <clears throat> the people who order this need to do nothing. I mean, yeah. you've got the tablecloth, the, all the food you bring, everything. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't have to lift a finger. So we bring tables, tablecloths, utensils, silverware, all the fixins. we do barbecue. Uh, coleslaw, cornbread muffins, we even do key lime pie for dessert. Okay. And then obviously the main course is the big low country boil which features potatoes, corn, onion, spicy and dewy sausage, jumbo shrimp, and that's the classic boil. And from there you can add all sorts do of seafood. All kinds of yeah, you can do clams, you can do mussels, snow crab legs, wow. and lobster tail. Yum. Yeah. And we had an opportunity to do this and it was it's just fun. It's so different and fun to watch. So that's the catering. And then people can come in and you can prepare the pot for them to carry out? Yeah, yeah. So the carry out side of things is these pots that you're looking at right here. And these are our to-go steamer pots. And we don't actually cook them in, in our shop. You go home and cook them yourself. So we do all the prep for you. We throw the potatoes, the corn, the onion, everything that you want. It's totally customizable. Gotcha. You take it home, we give you a little instruction card, we give you a side of cocktail sauce, we give you lemon wedges, some seasoning for your shrimp, and, a, and an instruction card. And they and you assemble go, it. Yeah, you cook it yourself, and, it. and it's super easy. You pretty much put two cups of liquid in there, turn your biggest burner on high, set it there, and it's ready and in about it. 45 minutes. Yeah. So I just think this is such a great idea for large groups because it can really feed a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes it's hard for large groups to all get seated at a restaurant without a pretty decent wait time. So um, I just think it's great for groups like that that want to do something. You know, for the boil that we used you for, we were outside and it was right. really perfect for that. So um, how far out do you go for your catering? So in, in the summer, kind of the tourism season, we'll go anywhere from, you know, the Salisbury, Berlin oh, area oh, so, all the way up to Lewis. So you're yeah. way outside of Ocean City. Yeah, yeah. We'll go, we'll go past Ocean City. Um, once we're reaching those outer limits, it's a little bit of a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. But, you know, okay. during, during the summer season, Memorial Day to Labor Day, anywhere from Salisbury to Lewis. Yeah. And then after the holiday, after the summer season, um, anywhere on the eastern shore will do and wow. in, in the off season we were even doing these ticketed events at breweries okay. where it was uh, like collaborations yeah. at breweries that didn't serve food. What a good idea. Yeah, so we would sell a ticket, it got you two beers and a plate of low country boil seafood for 30 bucks. Wow, and, you know, a, so you in, are open year round. Out. Yeah, we'll, we'll close to it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I mean for, for catering we're open year round, for the pots to go. Um, 
we're still kind of feeling the waters okay. on how much demand there is how in, long have in you the been shoulder open? season. How long have you been here? We opened June 10th of 2018. Okay, and so I should say we are a little bit right more than here on 143rd Street yep. on Coastal Highway in Ocean City. Yeah. Now, if people want to uh, go to a website, find out more about what you do, what, sure. what's a good place they can go to? Um, well, we've, we've obviously got both of the Facebook, uh, we got Facebook and Instagram, so we got okay. the social media pages. Okay. Um, we update those with little little announcements and um, pictures and media Just and stuff. Just do a search for Delmarva Boyle? Yeah, yeah, it's Delmarva Boyle Co. on Facebook and Instagram. And then we have a website, Delmarva Boyle Company. Dot com, okay. And that's got a lot of details on really what we do, what we offer, prices, our menu. Gotcha. Um, a little bit of explanation on what a low country seafood boil is. So there's a little bit more information okay. on the website. And that's where you book a reservation for a catering too. Okay. It's right there on the homepage. Okay. Big button that says book a boil. Click on that and it walks you through step-by-step -step process. They're so much fun. If you are trying to come up with an idea of how to wow a group for dinner, this is yeah. the ticket. Oh yeah. So, Will, thank you so yeah, much for absolutely. being on the show today. Yeah, thanks and, for having uh, us. Appreciate it. Order your Boyle. The Sunfest Art, Crafts, and Music Festival celebrates 45 years in Ocean City, Maryland with four days of live music on two stages, great food, and over 300 vendors. Entry is free with exception of evening headline performances. Who's Bad, a Michael Jackson tribute, will perform Thursday evening at Sunfest. Friday night features country superstar Granger Smith with special guest Earl Dibbles Jr. Saturday night, funk meets hip-hop with trombone shorty live on stage. Visit OCOcean.com for more information. Thanks, Will, for turning us on to Delmarva Boyle. And next, we're heading down to the Ocean City Center for the Arts. We're going to be talking to Rena about what she's got going on there. Hi, I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City. And you're here in our beautiful home, the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. We're going to tell you why art matters this month in Ocean City. Join us in our galleries this month as we celebrate the works of three area painters in the Thaler Gallery. The names are Ed Brown, Jinchil Kim, and Brooke Rogers. Three totally different personalities, but they all share the common thread of living on the Eastern Shore. Come see how they express it through their artwork. You'll see portraits, abstracts, and landscapes, um, each with their own unique meaning. So I'm here in our Galleria, and we're looking at an exhibit of the Artist Paint OC event. This past month we had 53 artists who painted in Ocean City over the course of four days. This is a really wonderful show because it just has so many iconic landmarks that you've come to love in Ocean City um, and the surrounding areas. Over the course of the event, over 230 paintings were done during this Artist Paint OC event. And we have about 55 of them here in the Galleria for you to enjoy. So I, I hope you come out and see the Artist Paint OC exhibit at the Ocean City Center for the Arts this month. You won't want to miss it. So thanks for coming by to visit the Ocean City Center for the Arts. Remember, we're open seven days a week for you to come and see the exhibits, check out our classes and workshops and events, um, and also stop by and see us at Northside Park, August 24th and 25th. Art X is new art and music festival presented by the town of Ocean City and the Art League. There'll be lots of free art activities, hands-on art experience, Insta spots, um, places for you to check out art in all of its forms, and free concerts and music all weekend long. And then come to the Art League in Ocean City, the Ocean City Center for the Arts, 94th Street. You can see us online, artleagueofoceancity.org, or give us a call, 410-524-9433. Come check out why art matters here. Hi, it's me again, Doi. Doi and Mina. And we're now playing Jungle Girl at Jolly Rogers. Let's get into it.
beautiful. Like if you see at the waterfall, it's actually like blue. Like, look, look at it. There's a gap right there in the middle. Come discover the fascinating history of Delmarva, from the earliest Native Americans to the farmers and watermen that have made the peninsula their home. Explore the natural wonders of the region with our exciting live and interactive exhibits. Meet our friendly river otters, Mac and Tuck. Get your hands wet in the touch pool, tong for oysters, set sail in a cat boat, climb into a beaver's lodge, and so much more. The Delmarva Discovery Museum in Pocomoke City is all about interactive family fun. Welcome to the Dough Roller, Ocean City's favorite family restaurant. A full breakfast menu is served daily featuring delicious buttermilk pancakes and omelets. We have something for everyone. Award-winning fresh dough pizza, sandwiches, subs and salads, Italian and seafood dinners, plus a great kids menu. 41st Street has several TVs to watch your favorite sporting events or host a meeting. All of our locations can accommodate large families and groups. Four Ocean City locations to serve you. Open seven days a week. The Dough Roller. Good things are rolling your way. Thanks, Rena. Next, we're heading down to Secrets, and we're going to be talking to Jackie Miller about what's happening at the distillery and at Secrets Nightclub. Hi, guys. Jackie here. Welcome to Secrets Jamaica, USA, home to the largest nightclub in the area, with 18 bars and five stages with live entertainment every night. The 7,000-square-foot Morley Hall nightclub features state-of-the-art sound, lighting, and visuals displayed on a 4K jumbo screen. The area's top bands perform in the Morley Hall, including Garden State Radio, Go Go Gadget, as well as live DJs spinning mixes of EDM and Top 40 records. Other stages at Secrets include the Pier Stage, Tiki Stage, Main Bar Stage, and the Beach Stage. Dance in the Sand to Chill Vibes at the Beach Stage, our largest venue on the property, hosting reggae acts, pop rock bands, and live DJs. Check out our calendar of events at Secrets.com, including our summer concert series featuring Tribal Seeds, Fortunate Youth, Hyrie, and many more. All right, party people, we hope to see you soon at Secrets. Find us and get lost. Secrets, Jamaica, USA, where you go to get away. 18 bars, five stages, and sandy floors all around. Relax on our rafts and enjoy delicious eats in our bayfront dining under the palms. Then when the sun goes down, the fun heats up. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every night. Secrets, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Thanks, Jackie. Next, we're going to be heading down to talk to Donna, Melanie, and Susan about what Ocean City has in store for us for fun, free summer events. 
Hello and welcome to the Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Ocean City Chamber of Commerce. And today we have Donna Abbott with the Department of Tourism, Town of Ocean City. And of course, Susan Jones, Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. And we are here to talk about all the amazing things going on in the fall. Our second season here in Ocean City. The weather's perfect, the water is warm, and it's all about events. So we certainly kick off uh, after Labor Day. We've got you know bike fest, we've got sun fest, we've got wine fest. So Donna, why don't you talk a little bit about some of the great events going on in the fall in Ocean City? That's right. First off is bike fest. That's mid September, and uh, they've got a great lineup of entertainment this year mm -hmm. with ZZ Top and Cheap Trick. So there's definitely Stone a lot. Temple Pilots for all you <laughs> '90s guys. Yeah, yeah. We, they have it's a terrific be awesome. yeah. entertainment lineup. I believe tickets are now on sale, and you can get more information on our website. But also immediately following that is Sunfest, and that's kind of the grandfather of all the fall yes, events. Yes. Um, terrific event that the town puts on every year down at the Inlet Lot, and uh, certainly a family favorite for everyone. And then there's wine. Yes, right. Who doesn't that. like wine? <laughs> and right. it's great. I mean, enjoying wine on the beach, overlooking the beautiful Atlantic Ocean and the Inlet. And then there's actually a new event, the beginning of October. Donna, you were telling me about what was that? Spartan. Yeah. We're going to have uh, down yes. here on the beach in the boardwalk. It's going to be a Spartan race. That's a national organization. It's an obstacle course run. We're expecting about anywhere from three to five thousand athletes coming into town to uh, take on the challenges of running on the beach and the boardwalk. So we're very we'll excited. Try that out. Well, it does really feel like there's a lot of wellness tourism that's yes. become popular. So that would fit right along with that. Mm -hmm. And then I love the Octoberfest events. Yes. Those are at the last two weekends of October. October. So you've mm -hmm. got the pet parade, the great pumpkin race, the, maze. the beach maze, oh, the maze really so awesome cool. family attractions sure. in October. And who doesn't love to just walk on the boardwalk or sit on a bench and people watch? And it's free. Yes. <laughs> Gotta love these free events. Yeah. And and something super exciting we're announcing this year is the return of Harbor Day at the Docks. So if anybody ever came to that yes. event before, um, it hasn't been around for a few years, but that again is a Maritime Heritage Festival. It's going to be located along the Commercial Fishing Harbor out in West Ocean City to celebrate maritime heritage, sport right. fishing, and commercial fishing. So, and it's great. All the commercial fishermen show what they do, and some of them tag horseshoe crabs and do pull the blood for research. Mm -hmm. They fish the tiger sharks. It really is an awesome event. Very it's October 19th. Yeah, very interactive. Yes. Lots of fun. End of October, and it's free again. So be sure to come and visit Ocean yes. City this fall. So much to do, so much to see. And for all of the great events, all the activities, please visit OCOcean.com. Thanks ladies. Finally on our show today we have Jim Rapp. He is our favorite outdoor naturalist and he always has something fun in store for us. One of the most charismatic birds you will find in the forests of Worcester County is the pileated woodpecker. This large woodpecker is roughly the size of a crow and is easily identified by the triangular bright red crest on the back of its head. Their bodies are black with white stripes on the face and neck. When flying, the bird flashes bright white patches on the top and underside of its black wings. Pileated woodpeckers are fairly common in mature forests with hardwood trees. You will find them in large tracts of woods in Worcester County's extensive bald cypress swamps and in towns with old trees. They use their long bill to bore into trees for carpenter ants and beetle larvae. They often leave large rectangular holes in the rotten wood they're feeding on. They will also feed on rotten wood on the forest floor and probe the leaf litter and soil for insects. Pileated woodpeckers use their long barbed tongues to extract the ants and larvae from their homes. They will also eat wild nuts and berries and are known to visit backyard bird feeders for seeds and suet. In the spring, the male pileated woodpecker uses its chisel-like bill to begin excavating a nest cavity in a large dead tree. 
The female will help until the oblong entrance hole is complete. They will also clean up the inside of the nest by tossing wood chips out of the entrance. Babies hatch after 15 to 18 days and will remain in the nest for up to a month while the parents feed them. After the woodpecker family has left the nest, other birds and animals will often take them over. Pileated woodpecker tree cavities provide important nest sites and shelter for other woodpeckers, owls, bluebirds, bats, and even wood ducks. Enjoy a hike in one of our forested parks and watch for pileated woodpeckers when you're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are here in Berlin today with Ivy Wells, who's the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin. Did, yes. I, get that, did I get that right? Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. Okay. it's all the same I got place. To tolerate. We're good. And we are going to be doing a little walk around and talking mm -hmm. about the arts scene in town, and uh, they're alive and well year round. Oh, what people don't realize is that we're actually a designated arts and entertainment district, Correct. and that means we offer an array of uh, public art, live music, and we've really bumped up our live music scene. We've got art galleries featuring local and international art, too. So this is going to be fun. Let's take a little it's walk. It's always fun yeah. in Berlin. Okay, so let's head, um, let's head downtown, and we are going to stop by the first gallery right here. Yes, Art in the Fields. Art in the Fields is an upscale gallery. When they first opened, they actually had Andy Warhol portraits in here. That's what I understand. And next, we're heading around the corner to Jeffrey Oxer's. So here we are in Jeffrey Oxer Designs Blown Glass and Fine Art Studio. I love this place. Uh, he is so incredible. He loves his job so much and his art so much. He literally built his house on top. And I love the fact that they ship he ships his art and his glassworks all over the world. So this is Wooden Octopus. It's located right across the street from Jeffrey Oxer's glass blowing studio and the Burley Cafe. So this street is also the location of the Second Friday Makers Market. We have artists set up and kids activities, our arts entertainment committee. 
Uh, they do a I wonderful love that job. Idea. Second Fridays right here on Jefferson Street, where the Worcester County Arts Council is. And what a good idea to do it on Second Friday with all these galleries right here. I know it's perfect. And I understand the Worcester County Arts Council has been in the town of Berlin since 1970. Six. It has, and we're so fortunate to have it right here in our downtown. We are heading towards the Globe, and she has dedicated the entire upstairs as an art gallery. She also features art shows for our Arts Entertainment Committee. The Balcony Gallery. The Balcony okay. Gallery. Okay. Um, on what grounds? Right up here. Oh, it smells so good. Ah. I know, I love the smell of that coffee. So here we are at On What Grounds Coffee Shop. This is also another art gallery we have here in town. There's many of our shops have local artists featured. So a trip uh, to check out all the arts in Berlin would not be complete without coming to the Baked, Baked Dessert, Dessert Cafe. Cafe. We're on Bay Street now, and it's right around the corner from Town Hall. And you can see... There's that over 20 always, different local artists represented here. And they oh. always do. And they're always open for Second Friday. You can come in, you can taste some wine, meet a local artist, and this artist here all year round. So here we are at the Greyhound and Indie Bookstore, which is one of our newest shops. They also it. feature local art here on the walls. I just love what they have done to this place. It's fabulous. It's beautiful in yep. here. It's gorgeous. Well, this is going to wrap up our tour and mm -hmm. if you come to Berlin I'm sure there's lots of other places that we uh, haven't covered but this has been a fabulous tour now if people want more information about Berlin and the Arts and Entertainment District what's a good website for people to go to so to find out more about Berlin go to uh, BerlinMainStreet.com and to mm -hmm. find out more about the arts in Berlin go to artsinberlin.org Excellent. Easy, easy. Thanks, Ivy. Thanks for the tour. Always fun to see you, it Lisa. It is always fun. joining us today and if you are looking for more great things to do, fun things to discover, then tune in next time for another edition of Beach and Beyond.